we believe that children with HIV, uh, they don't need only medication, okay? We have to address the other needs. Some of them are privileged to go to school, and other, that's all. So they don't have extracurricular activity for their mental well-being and development. So we started this other program, the Psychosocial Intervention Program. We have art, drama, music, and soccer league program for our children. So we have volunteers coming from the United States. They stay here with them for about 15 days, um, a month or three. So they teach them art, drama, and music. So those children who are involved in such kind of activities do well on medication. So even though the data is not published, we have seen this in our clinical practice. So the kids are happy, they're willing to take their medication. And uh, they're just very well. They know about their disease. They know that they can live like good life, like they're happy. So those kids who are depressed, taking medication, not involved in such kind of activities, they don't do well. Their immunity doesn't improve. And they don't do well at school as well. So that's why we started the psychosocial intervention. And this cycle of social intervention is also for the adults. What we do is we link with NGOs and community-based organizations, faith organizations in the area. So we refer them for social support because we don't have that set up here in the clinic. So they'll be supported at home. They give them like food, uh, some money uh, for the children and for the family as a well. whole.